The Batman production is shut down, and Wonder Woman 1984 is delayed, and no one knows when we'll see the Walking Dead finale. But The Mandalorian has fulfilled an all-time casting dream, so it's not all bad. What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here with your second printing of the week's biggest issues from ComicBook.com. And yes, I do have my staycation shirt on because we might as well make the most of working from home. Have I put pants on in the past two weeks? You'll never know. Speaking of working from home, huge thanks to everybody who has joined our quarantine watch party events on social media. This week we had directors and cast members from Bloodshot, Birds of Prey, and Doctor Strange join us for live events and Deadpool creator Rob Liefeld on Friday night. I hope you're all having as much fun with those as I am. But let's get to the news. T -t Took you long enough. Production on The Batman is officially shut down indefinitely due to the coronavirus pandemic. Director Matt Reeves said on Twitter that they have shut down till it is safe for us all to resume. No one knows just when that will be yet, but it could be a while. This movie is supposed to come out on June 25th, 2021, but if this delay holds up for too long, we could end up seeing it shift back maybe as far as December for Black Adam's spot if The Rock can't wrap up Netflix's Red Notice on time to start shooting his DC movie. We've all waited so long to see these titles, so fingers crossed neither of them are affected. Yes, yes, no, no! Meanwhile, Wonder Woman 1984 was supposed to come out on June 5th, but has moved back to August 14th. It's a smart play for Warner Brothers to plant a flag in August because we should be good to go back to the movies by then, and there are other movies like Black Widow, A Quiet Place Part 2, The New Mutants, and Mulan that are also still looking for release dates, possibly around that time, and Warner Brothers just claimed theirs. You're god right. How all of these delays will impact the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be interesting to watch play out. Black Widow was supposed to come out on May 1st and launch Phase 4 of the MCU, and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier was supposed to directly follow on Disney+, Plus. but Black Widow might not be able to hit theaters by August, and the show might not be able to finish filming. This would cause a domino effect where Eternals might have to move, and then Shang-Chi moves back, and then Doctor Strange 2 moves back, and so on, plus all the Disney Plus shows like WandaVision, Loki, etc. No word yet on when Black Widow will drop, let alone if Marvel or any of us will be at San Diego Comic-Con this summer. That can't be true, honey. If it were, I'd be terrified. The Walking Dead even pushed its season 10 finale back indefinitely as the editing team was unable to finish the VFX on the big episode. Now the season finale will be next Sunday's episode 1015 and 1016 will air as a standalone at a later date. I do highly recommend jumping back onto this show, by the way, I know a lot of you jumped off the Walking Dead bandwagon, especially this Sunday night, if you like Negan and Daryl. I can't see anything more than that or AMC might kill me. This is all making things tough for comic shops around the country though as well, as Diamond, the largest comic book distributor, pulled the plug on delivering new comics to retailers. This means that it's a good time to get out there and buy a gift card if you can, if you could spend it later, or other merchandise from your local comic book shop if you can do that safely, as so many are struggling to stay in business and they're gonna need our support. The good news, perhaps so good we could take our mind off of all the delays, if only for a moment. The Mandalorian has cast Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano. This is pretty much every Star Wars fan's dream casting, except those who were rooting for the voice of the animated version of the same character, Ashley Eckstein, to get the part. Ashley did handle it with grace in an Instagram post, admitting she hoped to portray the character in all forms, including live action, but is ultimately happy to see the character's legacy continue. We love you, Ashley. That's the second printing of the week's biggest issues at comicbook.com. I look forward to things getting back to normal and hopefully meeting many of you at San Diego Comic-Con or even at movie theaters this summer. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at BrandonDavisBD. And in the meantime, we have plenty to look forward to, like our quarantine watch party events and plenty of cool content coming at you, including the Daily Distraction with Chris Killian every weekday morning. For more news, head over to comicbook.com. I'm BD. I'll see you there.